Asteroid Apophis, also known as Asteroid 99942, is a near-Earth object thought to be around 1,100 feet, that's 340 meters broad. It gained popularity in 2004 when it was spotted as a possible danger to Earth. According to NASA, Apophis is categorized as a stony-type asteroid. It is made up of various metals including nickel and iron. The asteroid is thought to have a long two-lobed form, similar to a rocky space peanut. At first, astronomers weren't sure whether Apophis's passage would cause Earth to collide. Nevertheless, they knew it would wreak significant damage to the planet's surface if it struck. Will this pose a threat to life on Earth? Stay tuned as we delve deeper. Apophis was found by astronomers Roy A. Tucker, David J. Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi when they were working at Arizona's Kitt Peak National Observatory. The crew could only examine the new object for two days because of technological problems and adverse weather. However, more observations soon revealed a lot of information on the asteroid. In 2005, the asteroid was given the Greek name Apophis, which refers to an image of evil from ancient Egypt. Richard Binzel was a team member that measured Apophis's color characteristics and ascertained its composition in 2005 using telescopic reconnaissance observations. According to Binzel, Apophis is a fragment of a planetesimal from the early solar system. It was more like a planetary building component that never formed into a planet in our solar system. The team discovered that the asteroid resembled the most prevalent kind of meteorite, called ordinary crondites, mostly made of silicates and stone. It may be a piece of a bigger asteroid that broke away in a collision with the asteroid belt and has been conserved there for 4.6 billion years. The piece known as Apophis may have been sent on its present orbit, bringing it near to Earth as a consequence of the impact. Scientists became worried when they realized how near to Earth the asteroid's orbit would bring it. Researchers at CNEOS determined there was a 2.7% probability that the object would strike Earth in 2029, based on visual observations made in 2004. The following year, radar measurements were used to further improve these probabilities. These estimations, although modest, were nonetheless dramatic enough to give Apophis the highest scores on the Torino scale and the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard scale, two scales that astronomers use to determine how harmful it is to our planet. By 2006, new estimates have almost completely ruled out the possibility that Apophis will strike Earth in 2029. Future collisions could not be readily ruled out, particularly the asteroid's approach in 2068. According to a NASA release, Apophis's exact course was developed by Pharmakia and his colleagues combining radar and optical tracking data gathered in late 2020 and early 2021. These radar photos captured the asteroid Apophis when it flew past Earth in 2021 at a distance of 10.6 million miles, that's 17 million kilometers. The researchers then put this recently discovered information, along with years of meticulous observations, to produce a more precise picture of Apophis's track. Gareth Collins, a professor at the Imperial College London, stated that although simulations of an impact between Apophis and Earth have been conducted, the outcome of an Apophis-scale impact with Earth is very uncertain due to its size of 340 meters across. The primary determinants are size and speed, although the target site characteristics also matter. Collins said, if the impact happens in water, it might cause dangerous tsunamis. On land, much more ejected dust is generated. Of course, the proximity of the effect on human populations is significant. Collins calculates that the energy released if Apophis hit Earth at 45,000 miles per hour or 72,000 kilometers per hour, the typical speed of an asteroid impact, would be about 10 billion joules, a one followed by 19 zeros. This is similar to the explosive output of the whole of the world's nuclear arsenal a million times more energy than the bombs unleashed on Hiroshima and around 100,000 times more energy than the Chelyabinsk meteor. According to Collins, the worst-case scenario for an impact of this scale 
would be if it happened close to a densely populated coastal area or a significant population center. Secondary impacts including ferocious earth shaking, intense heat radiation and air shock waves would have disastrous implications if this happened. Our program will remain a best guess and susceptible to significant uncertainties until an asteroid like Apophis strikes Earth and we can assess the effects, Collins added. But near encounters improve our knowledge of asteroids and their propensity to strike Earth in the future. David van Okia, an astronomer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory who is researching the asteroid's trajectory, stated that the track of Apophis beyond 2029 will rely on how Earth's gravity alters the asteroid's orbit. The velocity of Apophis during the flyby in April 2029 may be precisely predicted because of the information gathered by scientists throughout the globe. According to the team's calculations, the asteroid's 2029 collision with Earth would cause its orbital period, or the amount of time it takes to circle the Sun, to increase from 0.9 years to 1.2 years. More importantly, the CNEOS team was able to estimate how near Apophis would be to the gravitational keyholes that correspond to probable collisions with Earth in 2036 and 2068. The CNEOS team disregarded any possible consequences for the next 100 years. The asteroid was only taken off the Sentry Danger Table and the European Space Agency's Impact Risk of Potentially Hazardous Asteroids or PHAs, in 2021 after being at top of both for 17 years. Even when this danger was eliminated, scientists could not completely rule out the chance that the asteroid's gravitational forces from Earth may affect it in such a manner that would result in an impact. According to Binzel, a planetary scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Apophis belongs in the category of PHAs, asteroids with trajectories that bring them extremely near to Earth today and for decades in the future. Apophis will make the closest known approach to Earth of any massive asteroid this decade, which makes it the poster child for potentially dangerous asteroids. This means Apophis won't strike Earth anytime soon. Still, on April 13, 2029, it will pass within only 19,000 miles of our globe, making a near encounter at 31,000 kilometers. That is 10 times closer to the Moon and closer than the majority of geosynchronous satellites. Binzel claims that over 2 billion people in the Eastern Hemisphere can see Apophis's near passage with the naked eye because of the enormous space rock. It is difficult to foresee the effects of an asteroid similar to Apophis striking Earth. Nothing like it has ever been recorded in our planet's geological history. The dinosaur-killing asteroid that impacted Earth 66 million years ago and left the Chicxulub crater is only one example of a considerably more giant impactor. Other impactors have also been much smaller. The amount of damage an asteroid impact may do also depends on the size, density and mass of the asteroid, as well as the angle and speed at which it hits. Luckily, we now know that Apophis won't harm our planet anytime soon. Now the prospect of an impact has been temporarily eliminated, scientists may concentrate on gathering data. Apophis researchers are preparing for the asteroid's passage in the years leading up to its second approach in 2029. They will watch from the ground, but now that a new mission for the asteroid sampling spacecraft OSIRIS-REx has been announced, they will have the chance to see the event from orbit. Gathering information about Apophis might help scientists figure out how to redirect other potentially hazardous asteroids should they pose a danger to Earth in the future, since it seems comparable to around 80% of the PHAs detected so far. If humanity ever needed to utilize that information to protect our planet from an asteroid collision, we will discover how Apophis is constructed on the inside by observing how it may tremble, rattle and roll even just a little bit, according to Binzel. Similar methods have been used to discover what is under the surfaces of the Moon, Mars and Earth by sending seismic waves across those bodies. We have never measured the internal structure of a possibly dangerous asteroid. Perhaps Apophis will give us that opportunity. Scientists might be able to simulate the innards of the space rock for the first time 
thanks to the observations of Apophis in 2029, which should also help them understand the asteroid's size, shape, and composition. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.